Hello, it is I, Hera. Today we got quite the special topic to talk about. Christmas. It is my favorite holiday. The best holiday, in my opinion. Even if it is a little early for this kind of video, I couldn't contain myself as I love the beauty of this holiday. Grab yourself a nice cup of hot coffee or coca, maybe a snack or two, and let's explore the wonder that is Christmas. Mama's coming! <laughs> Sorry about that. For some reason, my computer stopped recording. I'd like to take you back to a time. A simpler one for people like me. The time when all I could do was watch YouTubers and wish I could be a star like them, make it happen. A time specifically when Christmas was around. 2016. Yippee! December 28th. A game came out that changed the space of mascot horror and horror games in general. Even thousands of YouTube videos were made on this game, and for good reason. Even songs came out for it. What the dog doing? The drama of this game was unparalleled for the year it came out in. Even I began to obsess over it. You shut the fuck up! Gotcha videos were made on it too, which let's try to forget about. But I don't want to talk about the original game specifically. I want to talk about something involved with the game. Tattletale Roleplay. This game came out around the peak of Tattletale's existence. It had a lot of morphs and even included YouTubers like Markiplier and Beat You Mike. It was probably the best roleplay game out there, as it had collectible badges that you could unlock with more characters with. It had me begging for my grandma's credit card to buy all the cool game passes for these characters. However, something changed with this game. The creator changed too. Look at the horror. Look at what it's become. Look at what they did to my boy. Do not play this version of the game. Even if the gra even if the graphics are great, the creator has been known to be a really bad person. They're noted to be um, a pedophile and a zoophile. Instant first impression, the game looks more highly detailed than the last. Toy Tale Roleplay is a significant improvement from the game. If you forget about all the aspects of what made Tattletale and Tattletale roleplay so unique. The characters are all gone and are replaced by either furries or monsters that look really cool, but don't at all resemble the base game. And it never was supposed to at this point. Tattletale roleplay was so charming for the area it was in, but not only because of that, but because of the world that it was set in, the characters that were usable. <laughs> of the world that it was set in, the characters that were usable, the events that had happened and even the game classes were so nice to participate in and gave people an actual reason to roleplay. Toy Tale roleplay gives you those aspects of charming characters but removes the roleplay ability almost entirely. You're put in a random family's house that don't even complement the characters that you can play as and the other maps that are involved are just spry off of being Tattletale but if Tattletale just disappeared and was forgotten about. 
It almost makes me wonder how popular this game would have been if it was just Toytale roleplay and Tattletale didn't exist. The characters got their jump scares completely removed and, and this game's collectability functions almost entirely on gambling on your eggs. Which isn't a problem for people who bought the Times 3 Egg Game Pass, but for those who didn't, they began to experience the hell of grinding that used to be so fun. And Tattletale roleplay that just had the 25 eggs and the rest were so much fun to collect. Not to mention the game keeps removing things that even if you did grind for ages, you'll just get your eggs back in a larger update. Completely ruining the function of the fun gambling. Which I don't encourage anyways. Updates don't even come out for the game anymore unless it's to incentivize the use of gambling and spending money. I was so happy to spend money in Tattletale Roleplay as there was an actual gain and value from doing so. But in Toy Tale, it just feels like you're forced to gamble whether or not it has value, and even if it does, it will be removed in the next update. It's a stark contrast to the warm, cozy game that we all came to know, not to mention the dark undertones of the whole thing. It's like EA came in and decided to claim ownership of the game. But that's not really the worst part, as I said earlier, was the collectability function. There were actual eggs released that you could almost experience the same hype of discovering, but oftentimes those eggs would lead to only unlocking one or two characters, and even some other eggs won't even guarantee you get anything. They're just a placeholder for something that will never get added. The egg gathering part of the game was something I adored, and the creator added another feature of the game that I really liked. You could collect these capsules that would give you random character items. <clears throat> and you could attach them to whatever character you created in the custom character section. My only problem with it is that it suffers the same fate of being removed if the creator doesn't like it. Welp. That's all I have for you boys and girls today. Tattletale Roleplay and the Tattletale game and DLC were a staple of my life, and I believe 2016 overall. I hope today's Christmas tree was enjoyable to you all. I'll be having a Christmas special that comes out soon, so you all better be prepared for that too. But remember, I am the man who climbs down your chimney to give you indiscreet boxes filled with random doohickeys and trinkets, and also I traffic elves. So be careful, because I could put a random pipe bomb in one of those boxes. So be good this year, and have a good rest of your day, or night. Stay paranoid. Hey, you don't know me, but I'm Para. I make these videos, and they take a long ass time to make. I was just wondering. If you'd like to know me, I'd like to know you. This content will be shared around and will be consistently made. However, these do take a long time to make. So if you like this content, please do subscribe and turn on the notification if you feel like you want to stay up to date to this videos. And leave a comment if you want to. If you dislike the video, please tell me why. Leave a like if you liked it. Anyways, I'll see you later. Stay paranoid.